One of the biggest benefits to buying a Mac that's often overlooked. You just look at the price tag and you see it's, well, it's a lot of money. But how much of that are you gonna get back when you sell or trade in your MacBook? I've got a pile of MacBook Airs and I'm gonna see how much I can get for them. Here's eBay for MacBook Air M1. Let's take a look at sold items and completed items. Okay, they're claiming it's new, but come on. New in 2024? A machine from 2020? Maybe. Here's a base model, eight gigabytes of RAM, 256 SSD, 780 bucks. This one is 675. Here's one for 541. What about Craigslist? 650, 550, 400 for this one. Eight gigabytes, no information on storage, great shape. Ooh, this one was sold just a couple days ago, really? Somebody would pay $925 on eBay for the base model M2 MacBook Air when you can get a brand new one with Apple's warranty for $999? Okay, I'm gonna remove new because that's just ridiculous. Uh, let's go with excellent, refurbished. Still fetching a lot of money here. $949, $999, why? Why would anybody buy this right now? So it just gives me a little bit of an idea of the prices because most of the time when I wanna sell my MacBooks, I go to Craigslist and I put them up there. The Craigslist is a local marketplace in case you're not familiar with that. But there have been times when I was in a hurry and I wanted to quickly get rid of my equipment and not have to deal with waiting, scams, meeting people at Starbucks. That's what I would do usually. And for that, I've used the Apple trade-in program. Now that the M3 MacBook Air just launched, I wanna see what I'll get for these machines. I've got two M1 MacBook Airs and two M2 MacBook Airs with different configuration options. This might also give you an idea of how much your trade-in will be worth with Apple. Let's say if you get a eight gigabyte model versus a 24 gigabyte model, which is something I have here. And whether it's gonna be more worth it for you to sell those outright on whatever marketplace you have available. Trade-in upgrade save it's a win 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 let's take a look at mac for macbook pros up to a thousand dollars it's not very descriptive because there's a lot of different models from different years macbook airs up to 550 which means for my most expensive macbook air they're gonna give me 550 really that's it some of these might be worth it other ones might not be worth it let's check it out in detail so find your trade-in value select the device let's go with computer first who made it apple and then they want the serial number i need a magnifying glass for this one wow all right there we go which model do you have i mean you should be able to tell by the serial number right it's a macbook air what year 2022 which processor m2 this one is the 24 gigabyte model it also has 10 cores this is the one terabyte model does it turn on and off again yeah i've only been using it for a little bit it's in perfect condition. Everything works as expected. Is it in good physical shape? It is, and it doesn't even have those little port scratches. They lied. It's not up to 550. They're giving me $860 for this one. I, I don't know why I'm happy. They kind of anchored me to 550. 860 is not bad compared to 550, but I paid, I think like $2,500 for this thing. So I don't know. I think I can probably get more for it. Although it's gonna to be tough now with the M3s out. So here they're telling me that I can get a MacBook Pro from $739 after trading. Another MacBook Air with the M2 chip for $139. Why would I do that? Why are they offering me that? That's weird. All right, next machine. It's the other M2 MacBook Air, the base model. Who made it? Apple. Got the serial number in there. Is this your Mac? Well. Yes. How did you find this one, but you didn't find the other one? Yeah, that's exactly it. Does it turn on and off again? Yes, it does. Does everything work? Yes, it does. Is it in good physical shape? Yes, it is. 670? That's not bad. Why am I so excited? Let me think about this rationally for a second. This machine sells right now for $9.99, brand new. This one I've had almost two years, one and a half years. Yes, it is in amazing shape, but imagine if I was using it actively as my daily machine and I didn't have anything else and I still kept it in very good shape, I would get $670 for it, for the trade-in. That's very good. Imagine getting something like that back from a Lenovo or HP or Asus for a two-year-old Zenbook. <laughs> I doubt it. Now, for me personally, it might still be worth it. I barely use this machine at all. I could still get $670 for it. It's not bad. 
Next machine, we're going down a generation earlier to the M1 MacBook Airs, or as I like to call it, Apple's biggest mistake, or one of Apple's biggest wins of the decade. You can try either one, they both work. Computer, who made it? Apple. You know what, let's get all the info from the inside, because I have two different models here, a 16 gigabyte one and an eight gigabyte one. Which model do I have? A MacBook Air, what year? Late 2020. 16 gigabyte model with 512 gigabytes of SSD, and this one has eight cores for the CPU and eight GPU cores. Eight and eight. How much storage? 512. Yes, yes, yes. Now this is interesting. They're still giving $490 for a machine from 2020. I find that really amazing. Can I get more for this in a private sale? It's going to be difficult. Let me know if you want me to try in the comments down below and make a video about it. I'd be curious myself. Right now, I'm just tempted to do the trade-in. Now, from what I've seen, these prices, these trade-in values fluctuate. It seems like when they've just released a brand new machine, they'll give you a little bit more for your old ones. All right, I got one more MacBook Air. Let's try this out. It's a computer, Apple, serial number. Is this your Mac? How come it recognizes some of them, but not other ones? Yes, that's exactly my Mac, late 2020. This is the base model with eight CPU cores, seven GPU cores, and 256 SSDs. This is as base as Apple Silicon gets right here. This is where it all started. Does it turn on and off again? Absolutely, it works beautifully and flawlessly. $445. This is more than half. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's take a look at Apple certified refurbished for Macs. Let's go with MacBook Air 2020. There is my machine right here. This is the base model MacBook Air M1 and they're selling it for $759. They're giving me $445 for it. That's crazy. That's actually crazy good. Really makes you want to upgrade, doesn't it? I might just trade in all these. What am I going to get though? Vision Pro. So if you have a higher end MacBook Air M2, I would say this is probably not worth it. If you have a lower end M2 or M1, seems like it is worth it, as long as you've kept it in good shape. This was pretty eye-opening. I did not expect to get this much from Apple for these machines that are from one and a half to four, almost four years old at this point. So pretty eye-opening. If you still have an Intel MacBook laying around and you want to sell that, I made a video of me actually selling it, the process of it, right over here. You can check that out because Apple wouldn't give me that much for that one. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, bye.